I just wanted to try to make a play. Uh, got Paulo on me and just wanted to try to attack him. I know we were in the bonus, so he's not going to be too physical on me. And so I just wanted to try to use my speed to get by him. And then if there was no help coming, I was going to shoot the layup. If some, somebody came and helped. Uh, it was time for me to make the read again, and I saw another guy uh, clamp down on our big, and then, uh, like I said a couple games ago, I, could, I should be able to throw that blindly and know that my teammate's going to be there, and uh, yet again, DJ was there and hit a three, and it was the biggest three of the night for us. Over here on the right. He said it again. I'm sorry, my man. Uh, okay, now. Okay. <laughs> uh, how does it feel for you to equalize the mark for most points in a game in Mexico? Uh, I mean, it, it feels good. Um, but to be honest with you, I'm, I'm feel way better that we won. Uh, I would be up here mad as mad as a mug if we lost and, uh, and I had the, the record or tied the record or whatever. Um, so for me, just being able to to do that while winning um, makes makes a night. I mean, way more special. Go ahead, front row. Hey, Trey, congrats <laughs> on the win, Eduardo Villalpando. Uh, just wanted to ask you just about the atmosphere here in the arena and also a lot of people be talking about Las Vegas, Seattle, even Vancouver. What, would you, what do you think about potentially Mexico City being a destination for an expansion in 2025, 2026? Yeah, I mean, I, I love the energy in the, the, the arena tonight. Um, I mean, from when guys were checking in and when guys were scoring, um, the electricity was, I mean, high from the beginning of the game to the end. and. Uh, so it was fun playing in here. Um, I know, obviously, we're obviously probably going to expand the league and um, expand it to a couple more cities. I mean, I'm I'm willing to be open to playing here, I mean, once or twice a year. This is an unbelievable place to play uh, as far as the, the fans go. And you can tell that the fans here really love basketball. And so, um, I mean, I wouldn't mind coming here. So uh, I can't speak for everybody else. But for me, I, I would love it, uh, obviously. <laughs> Back left. Sorry, Paco Vega, soy de Vasco de Mekis. Uh, for make uh, buckets, you must have the confidence. You throw uh, 27 uh, throws for, for, for bucket, well, well, but well, 41 points. How, how you feel uh, being the visiting team uh, against, obviously, you hear uh, the crowd uh, like the some ones for Atlanta, some ones for Orlando. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it didn't really feel like a road game, to be honest with you. I mean, obviously, we were the road team. Um, but when I checked in, I mean, it was loud. Whenever we scored, Bogey was hitting threes. It felt loud. Um, when DJ hit that three at the end, it felt loud. So uh, it didn't feel like a regular, regular road game. Um, for us, but I know they had some fans here. Magic fans were in here, and so uh, it wasn't just Hawks fans, but you could definitely hear the Hawks fans tonight. Checked in. Um, did the altitude have any effect on you as a player, and how much did the crowd noise and support just help push you guys in those final minutes to this win? Hell yeah, the, the atmosphere. Uh, I mean, the I mean, the altitude affected, I mean, all of us. It affected me, too. Uh, there was a moment in the third quarter I asked to come out, and uh, I mean, I usually come out early in, in the third quarter anyways, and uh, I think I asked to come out a couple more seconds before because the altitude got to me. Uh, I was getting really tired in that third, and then uh, was able to get a get a breather, but um, I mean the energy and the atmosphere from the arena is always going to give you more adrenaline and more. Um, I mean, amp, amp you up to play some more and maybe play through some fatigue. And so uh, I, I be, definitely guys are playing through a little bit of fatigue tonight because of the energy and the atmosphere is so great. Last one here on the right. Hello, Fred. Uh, good night. Eduardo Lopez from Deras. Uh, having uh, the altitude in mind, do you guys have any, any special preparation for for this uh, issue? Because we saw you struggling, especially in, in the last quarter when you were almost on your knees. So do you have any special preparation for that? No, I don't think it's really – it's tough to really prepare for that. I mean, we, we when you play in Denver, you play in Utah, you play in certain cities, you, you still have to go through that and fight through that. Um, it's a little bit worse here, um, but – 
I mean, it's still just another day. Both teams have to fight through it. It's not like one team has to go through it and the other doesn't. So uh, it's kind of hard to prepare for it because you don't see it every day and play through it every day. But when we got out here, we got in um, a little scrimmage to kind of fill it a little bit, uh, fill the air. And um, But, yeah, you can't really prepare for that. You kind of just got to go through it and play through it. And uh, we did that tonight, and we got the win. So it felt good. Thank you, Trey.